Countries can rise or fall on a piece of technology that fits on the tip of your finger. Semiconductors are critical for everything from weapon systems to microwaves. Currently, the world's biggest manufacturer of these chips is Taiwan, although China is set on taking over global production. As Brody Carter reports, that could mean a chip war in the making. The key to dominating international technology and computing power rests in semiconductor chips, basically the brains of modern electronics. And you might be surprised the United States isn't the world leader in this multi-billion dollar industry. It's not even second. The U.S. government's goal is simply to stay ahead of China. When we look at the world's most advanced chips, Taiwan makes 92 percent of them. Matter of fact, one company in Taiwan makes 92 percent. The small island of Taiwan clearly dominates the world's semiconductor market. That single manufacturer Cheng refers to is TSMC, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, and Apple is its biggest customer. So if it were knocked offline, we'd face a huge economic crisis because of our inability to get the chips we need. Tufts University professor Chris Miller is the author of Chip War, the fight for the world's most critical technology. He says the Taiwanese company's dominance in semiconductors makes OPEC's 40 percent share of world oil production pale by comparison. Today, China spends as much money importing semiconductors as it spends importing oil. And it buys those ships uh, in large part from U.S. firms that make a great business selling to China. The chip industry is made possible by a symbiotic relationship among key countries that forms a very complex supply chain. America, the world's largest market, also makes up 40 percent of the total value of this international supply machine. Today, if you want to make an advanced chip, the most cutting edge chips that you find in a smartphone or data center, it's simply impossible to do without using software from the U.S., machine tools from the Netherlands, the U.S. and Japan, ultra purified chemicals from Japan, as well as manufacturing capabilities in Taiwan. It's an international process. Just a few years ago, China's tech giant Huawei was TSMC's number two customer. Then the Trump administration tightened restrictions, preventing Huawei from getting chips developed by the U.S. due to espionage and national security concerns. Huawei is something that's very dangerous. You look at what they've done from a security standpoint, from a military standpoint, it's very dangerous. I Taiwan were taken over, or even if there, Taiwan wasn't taken over, but there was a war in the Taiwan Strait that Taiwan repelled, even still the shock to semiconductor supply chains would cause a deep depression in manufacturing industries worldwide. And the reason is that today all types of goods require semiconductors. It's not just smartphones or PCs, sort of high-tech goods that you might think of. It's your car, which might have hundreds of semiconductors inside, your coffee maker, your microwave, almost anything with an on-off switch today has semiconductors inside of it. More importantly, Miller told CBN News microchips has revolutionized American warfare. Semiconductors made in Taiwan are used in F-35 fighter jets and a wide range of U.S. military-grade weapons and defense systems. Since the world's entire tech ecosystem can't function without these chips, that makes the sovereign island ground zero for a chip war between the U.S. and China. And that means that the world's made-to-order chips are made on China's doorstep. Both South Korea and Taiwan are vulnerable, and it is not inconceivable that China could take over both of them. That's what makes the communist government's Made in China 2025 plan to make the country dominant in global high-tech manufacturing a true threat to the U.S., both economically and militarily. As China's become stronger, it's become more belligerent, more provocative, more aggressive. This is perhaps the greatest mistake America has made throughout its history. And it's a mistake that we may not survive. It's one reason the U.S. followed suit with the CHIPS Act, pouring out billions to bring chip manufacturing and research back to the U.S. If you want to build a cutting edge chip making facility, it'll cost 20 or $25 billion for just one plant. These are the most expensive factories in human history. TSMC has committed at least $12 billion to build a chip fabrication plant in Arizona. Still, neither China nor the U.S. can overtake Taiwan and achieve self-sufficiency anytime soon. We should care about where they're made because we need them to drive our economy. And it is the case increasingly that things that are further away, things that are at the hands of geopolitical adversaries, 
may not be attainable at all times. And that provides, you know, a concern of vulnerability for us. It also provides an ad our adversaries a strength that they can use. While Taiwan has maintained its sovereignty for more than 70 years, China still considers the island nation its property and regularly provokes it militarily. Given China's authoritarian use of technology against its own people and the potential power of semiconductors, who controls the world's technology and data is paramount. This evolving technology makes semiconductors even more of a national security concern, especially with progress in artificial intelligence and quantum computing. The chip war is well underway, and exactly how hostile this war becomes remains to be seen. Brody Carter, CBN News. Well, any kind of strength, weakness analysis, you always look at single points of failure. If Taiwan Semiconductor would fail, you literally wipe out 90% of the world's production. That's why it's important for us to stand for Taiwan and to stand for Taiwan's independence. Uh, literally everything that we use to run the world is dependent on that one company. Do you want to transform your life in 2025? Then do this every day. Put on the full armor of God, not some of it, all of it. The belt of truth, the helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, shoes fitted with the gospel of peace, the shield of faith and your offensive and defensive weapon, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Why? So we can stand and be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Happy New Year, everybody.